here is the amazing abacus the original retro calculator this is the Chinese version with two beads in the upper deck and five beads below the Chinese abacus has been in use for over 800 years amazing and the roots of the abacus go back far further than that the Romans used a version and the roots go back even to the clever Mesopotamians amazingly the abacus is still widely used today throughout Africa the Middle East and Asia why because the abacus is surprisingly powerful and intuitively easy to use now this is the Japanese version called the Soroban it has heavenly beads in the upper deck and earthly beads in the lower deck the heavenly beads are worth five and the earthly beads are worth one now we only count beads when they are in the middle position of the abacus and the abacus is read in exactly the same way you read a modern digital calculator from left to right and with one column per unit you'll see that in just a second I'm going to enter the number 1234 euros and 56 cents so we're going to do 1200 and 34 euros and 56 cents here is a little visual aid so now let's add a number to that I am going to add 1111 euros and 11 cents so I'm just gonna add one all the way across the board now we're gonna have only one little tricky operation and you'll see how that works in just a second okay here we go I'm going to add 1111 oh now we've got the tough part I've already got four beads up here but I need to add one so I'm going to subtract four and add five that's the 11 and now we're going to do the 11 cents so add one and add one and so what's our result it is 2345 euros 67 cents now let's just quickly add another number we're going to add 7654 euros and 32 cents so I'm going to add seven I'm going to add six five four three and two now we have nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine euros and ninety nine cents what do you think we're gonna do next we're gonna add one to that and now we're gonna see the carry operation in full effect I need to add one to this column here well to add one we do a very simple thing we're going to take away nine from this column and add one to the next column so watch this take away nine add one same problem take away nine add one same thing nine 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 and one so what's our answer it's very simple it is ten thousand euros if you ever get a chance you should watch an expert abacus user watch their fingers flying across the keyboard as they add numbers they'll do the multiplication on one side and bring the result over to the right side before your eyes can even focus on their fingers it's amazing now I know what you're thinking what are those extra beads on the Chinese abacus used for there's two on the upper deck for the heavenly beads and there's five on the lower deck or the earthly beads whereas the Japanese just has four beads on the lower deck and one bead on the upper deck well the simple answer is that the Chinese just ignore those other beads if they're using a decimal system like we do counting by tens then they simply count uh, by ones there's one two three four and then five makes nine and then when they want to add ten then they'll do the same thing they'll do the subtract nine and add one in the tens column so it's exactly the same as the Japanese Soroban why then are there the extra beads well the Chinese have certain counting systems for weights and measures that are 16 based or hexadecimal based and that's very similar to our pounds for example there are 16 ounces in a pound so we count by ones up to five and then we count with this bead to ten and then we count with this bead to fifteen and then we add one pound so we went from fifteen ounces if we add one more ounce then we get one pound so it's actually a hexadecimal based calculator very interesting and again if you aren't interested in using that sixteen counting system then you just use the simple old nine beads the five plus the four to count 
by tens. And so that is the abacus. Now for those of you who are parents with young children, I recommend uh, letting them play with the abacus because counting with beads as numbers is a very powerful learning mechanism. They can count to ten and then add the bead for the tens column and hundreds and so on up. And you can buy very colorful abacuses that have ten beads on each rod and children really respond well to those by counting up to ten and then adding the bead in the next column. It's really a wonderful learning device and gives a concrete sense of what it means to uh, add numbers together. I hope you look on the web for other resources on the abacus to explain how to use it, the various counting operations, how to do multiplication and division, and even the higher order functions like square roots and cube roots. It's really a fascinating device with a long and glorious history. The abacus.